plane. What a fantastic to be so close to that large aircraft on takeoff. That's something unique in the theatre that we have here at Farnborough. Engineering project began in June 1994, the time referred to as 3XX. The official go-ahead was in December 1999, when an order for the 50th aircraft came in in December the next year, the industry launch was confirmed. The maiden flight of the A380 occurred in January 2005, lasting some 3 hours and 54 minutes. It was the start of a test program incorporating some 2,200 flying hours and lasting some 15 months. Rolls-Royce engines on this the Rolls-Royce Trent 900. For something else, for the context, the Trent 900 draws in enough air to inflate 72,000 party balloons in one second. And the success of the A380 can be seen that in January this year, orders stood at over 300 orders, 304 to be exact, with 122 of these aircraft types already delivered. The vertical oval design of the aircraft allows 10 abreast seating in the lower cabin, 8 abreast in the upper deck. Whilst a typical three-class configuration for the 380-800 seats over 500 passengers. It could, in high-density seating, get 853 passengers. Flight management system for the Honeywell Tardis provide the display. It's an option for a head-up display. The height and length of the aircraft are 24.1 metres and 72.8 respectively. The launch variant of the aircraft is the 380-800 and the Stretch 900 series is under consideration. Larger aircraft will represent a 10-frame stretch with six seat 656 people in a three-cast layout but in high density configuration, up to 990 people could be carried. It is a terrific site over here at Farnborough, this historic site, the birthplace place of British aviation. Cody first flew from down on the far right. The faster here with the facilities, they can go to the museum. There's a monument to Cody now outside the fast area as the A380 positions to slowly fly past. And this again is an extraordinary sight. This majestic fly past by this huge airliner and still relatively quiet. It's almost unbelievable I think isn't it? This is at the top, pushing forward, extending the gear to come around to land. He knows the A400 is sitting patiently on the beginning of the runway. Extraordinary sight, isn't it? Beautiful sight. And on the big screens you can see the mechanics of the undercarriage coming down, the doors going through quite a sequence to get the gear down. Flat being extended, Goodrich main landing gear. See the trailing edge flaps if you look at the big screens. Touch down, you'll see the spoilers come out, versus come in, and the Airbus will go down to the far end of the runway, turn around, come back up, and then be put back into its parking bay for the night.
Let's see Doughty supplying the nose gear. Three as you were coming in, something like a three and a half degree slope approach. So that we don't take the roof tiles off the Swan pub. Lawrence wouldn't be impressed. About 600 feet over the pool. And then the A400 starts its takeoff run. Look at the screen, you can see the two aircraft closing. Watch the departure of the A400M as well. This is a steep departure, change of direction, really a tactical departure. Hang around the small arm star, that sort of thing in the war zone. So this is a remarkably agile aircraft, very fine airlift aircraft, I say, in space. 